Sundanese script Aksara Sunda is a writing system which is used by the Sundanese people. It is built based on Old Sundanese script Aksara Sunda Kuno which was used by the ancient Sundanese between the 14th and 18th centuries. History and standardization since Sundanese people have utilized many different scripts, there were several requirements considered in the standardization of the Sundanese script for modern usage, a, a script that can record Sundanese language, b period of usage, c area of usage, d simplicity, e shows Sundanese identity. The government of West Java Province has announced Paraturan Daira Local Regulation No. 6 1996 about the Sundanese language, literature and script. The regulation was motivated by Kaputusan President President's decision number 082 B 1991 the 24th of July 1991 As follow up to the local regulation on Tuesday the 21st of October 1997 in the main hall of Japanese Language Study Center Universitas Pajajaran Jatininger a seminar entitled Lokakarya Aksara Sunda in cooperation with the government of West Java Province and the Faculty of Literature Pajajaran University, was held and attended by delegations from local communities and cities in West Java. Several discussion results were achieved. Historical facts from the 5th century until now have shown that there were seven scripts used in the West Javanese area, Palawa, Pranagari, Sunda Kuno Old Sundanese, Javanese, Karakan, Arabic, Pagan, Kakarakan, and Latin, with the following timeline. Palawa and Pranagari, 5th 7th centuries, 3 centuries. Sunda Kuno, Old Sundanese script, 14th 18th centuries, 5 centuries. Javanese Karakan, 11th century and 17th 19th centuries, 4 centuries. Arabic Pagan, 17th middle of the 20th centuries, 3 centuries. Kakarakan, 19th present, 3 centuries. Latin script, end of the 19th century, present, 2 centuries. Sundanese script shall fulfill the following criteria. Sundanese script is an orthographical system created by the people of West Java which includes script and writing system for writing Sundanese language. Article 1, K of Local Government Regulation No. 6 1996 From the basic requirements, simplicity, timeline, area of usage, usage to write Sundanese, law President's decision No. 082, B, 1991 the 24th of July 1991 and paired a No. 6 1996, percentage of Sundanese people creativity, it can be concluded that the suitable script fulfilling those requirements is the Aksara Sunda Kuno Old Sundanese script. And now it is also agreed upon scholars that the script can simply be called Aksara Sunda Sundanese script. Since there were several variants in writing due to materials stone, metal, skin, leaves, knives, ink, pen, hammer, timeline, and techniques, there shall be another criteria to choose for modern usage. And, considering the completeness and practicality, the variant found in soft material documents shall be used for modern usage. There was a tendency to name Kakarakan script as Sundanese script by some people before. However, it can be traced back that the earliest source was a book written by G. J. Grashwis, Handleiding vor Onleren van het Soendanisch Letterschrift, Learning Sundanese Script, in year 1860. The book taught to write Sundanese script, but using Kakarakan. The Kakarakan script itself only contains around 10% of innovation by Sundanese people, especially by reducing and simplifying the sounds in Javanese to suit Sundanese language. Tongue. From the cultural point of view, Sundanese script is one part of Sundanese civilization and culture. Therefore, re-spreading and re-utilizing Sundanese script shall integrate with the task to maintain and conserve Sundanese culture as a whole. Thus, it will have broader scope as wide as the scope of the people itself. Re-spreading and re-utilizing Sundanese script shall be done in several steps since it was not well known by the community within the last three centuries. These steps are to hap Pawanahan introduction to hap Palaman utilizing to hap Pangagulan pride to hap Pamibandan ownership next the existence and function of Sundanese script in the social and cultural life of West Javanese people in modern life is supported by the West Javanese governor 
S decision number 434/SK.614-dis.pk 99 about standardization of Sundanese script local government S regulation number 5 2003 about conservation of local language literature and script and governor's decision number 3 2004 topic typology Topic. The standardized script has 32 basic characters, consists of seven Aksara Swara independent vowels, A, A, I, O, U, E, and E, U, and 23 Aksara Nalajina consonants with vowel A, Ka Ga Na, Ca Ya Nya, Ta Da Na, Pa Ba Ma, Ya Ra La, Wa Sa Ha, Fa Va Qaxa Za. The additional five sounds to the Nalajina characters were added to fulfill the purpose of Sundanese script as tool for recording the development of Sundanese language, especially by absorption of foreign words and sounds. However, the glyphs for the new characters are not new, but reusing several variants in Old Sundanese script, for example, the glyphs for Fa and Va are variants of Old Sundanese Pa, the glyphs for Qa and Xa are variants of Old Sundanese Ka, and the glyph for Za is a variant of Old Sundanese Ya. There are two non-standard sounds kha and sya for writing foreign Arabic consonants, kh and shish. These are considered non-standard because their usage only supported by few Sundanese people. There are also rarankans or attachments for removing, modifying, or adding vowel or consonant sound to the base characters. Thirteen rarankans based on the position to the base can be categorized into three groups, one, five rarankans above the base characters, two, three rarankans below the base characters, and three, five rarankans inline the base characters. In addition, there are glyphs for number characters, from zero to nine. Graphically, Nalajina characters including rarankans have angle 45 degrees to 75 degrees. In general, the dimension ratio height, width, is 4 to 4, except for the Nalajina character Ra 4 to 3, Ba and Nya 4 to 6, and the Swara character I 4 to 3. Rarankans have dimension ratio 2 to 2, except for Panyachek 1 to 1, Panglayer 4 to 2, Panyakra 2 to 4, Pama 4 to 2, and Pamingkal 2 to 4 bottom side, 3 to 2 right side. Numbers have ratio 4 to 4, except for number 4 and 5 4 to 3. Topic. Aksara Swara Topic. Topic. Aksara Nalajina Topic. Aksara Nalajina from Sundanese language Aksara Nalajina for writing foreign words Topic. Rarankans Topic. Based on their location to the base glyph, 14 rarankan can be categorized as rarankan above the base glyph equals 5 kinds, rarankan below the base glyph equals 2 kinds, rarankan inline the base glyph equals 6 kinds. Rarankans above the base glyph b. Rarankans below the base glyph c. Rarankans inline the base glyph Topic. Numbers Topic. In texts, numbers are written surrounded with dual pipe sign. Example, equals 2018 Topic. Punctuation marks Topic. For modern use, Latin punctuations are used. Such punctuations are, comma, dot, semicolon, colon, exclamation mark, question mark, quotes, parenthesis, bracket etc. Old Sundanese, though, was written using its own set of punctuation symbols. The Bindu Surya, a representation of the sun, was used in the sequence, which denoted a religious text. Likewise, the Bindu Panglong, a representation of a half moon, was used in the sequence, which had the same meaning. A third punctuation sequence used as a liturgical text marker is the Bindu Purnama, on the other hand, representing a full moon, was used in the sequence, which denoted a historical text. The Bindu Surya was also sometimes used as the modern full stop, in those cases, the Bindu Purnama was used as comma. 
When the bindu surya wasn't used as full stop, the bindu kakra, a representation of a wheel, was used instead of the bindu pranama as a comma. The punctuation symbols resembling letters with stripes used in the sequences above, and, are respectively named da satanga, ka satanga, and ba satanga, and originated as decorated versions of the syllable da, one half of the syllable ka, and the syllable ba, respectively. To these can be added the lu satanga, of unclear meaning. Likewise, it originated as a decorated syllable lu, which is archaic. Topic. Writing in Pasangan pairs Topic. Simple words or sentences can be written directly, for example by arranging nalajina letters which represent the sounds. However, in certain words, compound consonants can be found. Then, two ways of writing can be used, one, using pamaa, or two, using Pasangan pairs. The use of pamaa is one way to write Sundanese script at basic stage. Another way, the Pasangan, is normally used in order to avoid the use of pama in the middle of words, as well as to save writing space. Pasangan is constructed by attaching second nalajina letter to the first one, thus eliminate the a voice of the first nalajina. Unicode Sundanese script was added to the Unicode standard in April 2008 with the release of version 5.1. In version 6.3, the support of Pasangan and some characters from old Sundanese script were added. Topic. Blocks Topic. The Unicode block for Sundanese is U plus 1 B 8 O U plus 1 B B F. The Unicode block for Sundanese supplement is U plus 1 C C O U plus 1 C C F. Topic. Gallery. Topic. Topic. See also. Topic. Sundanese language. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. Sundanese Unicode table. Kairaga, comprehensive information site regarding Sundanese font developing effort. Sundanese, Latin online transliteration and Sundanese Unicode font Sundanese font app